Linda LaPlante, top TV writer, wants to know why men get turned on by guns. She talks to men who use guns on both sides of the law. Oh, 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 oh. No, that's gonna get killed. What do guns do for her? Linda LaPlante in The Firing Line, the first of six programs by women about men, men only. Tonight at 9 on Channel 4. On the day disabled people took direct action outside Parliament, a new series, The Slot, takes to task Conservative MP Lady Olga Maitland. Two of her constituents argue that she's betrayed disabled people. That's The Slot, tonight at 7.50. You're watching Channel 4 at 7 o'clock. As all parties launch their manifestos, Mr Major says it's not about me, it's about Europe. <laughs> Good evening. With only 17 days to go before the European elections, all the major parties have set out their stalls. Tonight, we examine their manifestos and question whether there are enough differences between them on Europe to avoid it all becoming a wrangle about domestic leadership. Also tonight, we have a special report from Rwanda, an exclusive view of the battle for the capital and the appalling consequences of the carnage upon neighbouring Lake Victoria. Here tonight, the worrying manifestation of the sore throat bacteria that has become an organism that eats the body's fat and eventually kills. Gloucester has already seen seven victims. Loyalists bomb Belfast City Hall and seriously injure two workmen. This whilst British and Irish ministers continued peace talks. A private funeral for Jackie Onassis and within this hour, America prepares to bury her next to President Kennedy in Arlington Cemetery. And as South Africa's cabinet gets down to business, the vast problems posed by the need to redistribute land. The three main political parties have launched their manifestos for next month's elections to the European Parliament. And after the short truce called in respect for John Smith's death, the political battle looks like being as bitter as ever. Amid Conservative Party fears that its supporters might stay at home on election day, the Prime Minister, John Major, has called on voters to avoid what he called a stagnant socialist swamp in Europe. Labour's acting leader, Margaret, Margaret Beckett, made it clear that the campaign would be fought on domestic issues as much as European. She said it was a referendum on John Major. And the Liberal Democrat leader, Paddy Ashdown, said the election would be a vote of confidence on the government's record. Our political editor, Eleanor Goodman, reports now on the opening salvos of the European election campaign. John Major today launched the Conservative European election campaign by flying into one of the areas where the Tories are bracing themselves for heavy losses, the South West. The Conservatives are hoping to stem these losses and unite the party by a campaign combining a strong commitment to European membership with a promise to fight Britain's corner in Brussels. But it was clear as the other parties launched their campaigns that they see the election primarily as a referendum on Mr Major. Nevertheless, clear differences do exist.